Hey guys, welcome back once again to the hillside. This is just a quick July 2022 summer update on my Dawn Redwoods grown from seed. So um, where I planted the original batch of these Redwoods, uh, there's two different locations on this side of the uh, the creek and this side of the, uh, the wood line. Um, a lot of deer passed through, so I was kind of uh, worried, but the other side got absolutely hammered. Uh, I got a late frost, uh, planted maybe stuff a little too early. So these were planted later. And just check it out. This guy is very much alive and healthy. He's putting on some new growth here at the top, right here. So this plant, uh, this tree is doing quite well in this location. You have the dappled sunlight from here on the edge of the, uh, the field line here. Kind of like the general field, the terrain here. So we've had tremendous amounts of rain this year. It's been very, very rainy. So these redwoods are doing quite amazing so far. Uh, I've seen really no deer damage, no insect damage. So I have a strong feeling that these guys are gonna probably survive in these locations. So let me show you some of the other ones planted a little bit deeper in the woods and see how they're growing in relation to the ones I have here on the edge of the wood line. All right, so watching from um, this over here, it's a little more shady area, but you can tell right here discoloration. This is from the late, uh, the late frost we got. It really did kind of burn some of the leaves, so lesson learned. You know, always a little bit late is better than a little bit too early. But this uh, this this tree here, the growing tip in the inside here is um, right in there is um, doing healthy. It's budding out, so it's putting on more of a lower kind of a spreading habitat. But that's pretty cool. That's pretty typical of the dawn redwoods, from what I can tell. So uh, let's go ahead and keep the tour going with the other redwoods and see how they're adapting to their location. And this is number three, you can tell as well, especially in there, some damage that did not recover from the frost, but the plant is otherwise healthy. And it is uh, growing basically only on the one side, like right here, you can see it's basically nothing. It's all growing in this direction towards where the sunlight is uh, predominantly coming from. That's the east and the south, that direction. So, uh, you know, the plants are gonna grow toward the most of the light is, but looking at some of the soil here, I mean, this is just woodland, humus and clay base it's a uh, high in organic matter it stays very wet and very shady in this area although right now in the morning it is getting some pretty good uh, dappled sunlight let me uh, show you the last one here i have planted on this side of the uh, the dawn redwood project yeah so this is the last one over here number four and it is very very healthy it's getting some nice uh, filtered sunlight in this location a nice um wet spot here but this this little clearing that it's in i mean this is this was natural you know this has not been man-made or cleared out by hand or anything like that so i found a nice little spot and you can tell the sunlight really is dappled coming in through these trees here nice little protected area but this is right on the edge of a deer trail so i was expecting this one i did this on purpose put this right off the edge of the deer trail just to kind of maybe make it a sacrifice to see if it would or would not be attracted uh to the deers but uh, so far, I mean, it's it's surviving, it's, it's thriving actually. And once again, that is the burn from the frost. So plant these later, don't take a chance in planting them early. I do believe some of the ones I planted uh, about two or three weeks earlier than this in a different location, uh, they did not recover from the heavy, heavy frost. Everything was burned out and it just turned brown and died. So that's just a really quick update on these four from the Don Redwood project in this little uh, secluded area right here. I'll uh, give an update here in the fall as they get bigger, but just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the progress of the Dawn Redwoods grown from seed. So if you want to like this, uh, this content, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and sticking around for more updates as these plants mature in the Dawn Redwood project. All right, guys, until next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.